I give you a morning update because it's it's bright enough now. I got here right at daybreak. I'm at Wadboo Creek. I want to get on the main river, but I don't even know if I can get out there. The water is super, super low. Uh, as you can see, but I mean the water's come up a little bit, the tide's coming in. And I was hoping we'd get on a top water bite. Buzz bait or frog, something exciting, get you guys some con content and give me some excitement. But it doesn't look that way. It looks pretty dead. The wind was blowing at the house this morning, but there's no wind now. Hear the sounds of nature. It's a peaceful morning. So I'll just enjoy this time I'm trying to figure it out. Hey, if you like these, please subscribe, comment, share, all that kind of stuff. It helps out the channel. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you out here. Can you believe, guys, I'm resorting to a freaking wacky worm? I don't mind fishing a wacky worm if they're going to bite it. And you know, I've done pretty good with a wacky worm, Cinco style. I'll drop the link. Uh, I've won some tournaments and finished well in some tournaments, had some great days. But man, I'll tell you something, I don't like to fish it. It's slow. I don't like fishing Carolina rig either. But hey, if that's the only way you can catch them or catch a decent size, that's the way I'll do it. There's a link where I did a real good in a tournament fishing a Carolina rig down below also if you want to check that. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I hope you can't, but it just started raining again here. It's a rainy, dreary day. It's the only chance I get to really put some extra information on this video. So I wanted to come out and do it on the boat, kind of give you the rundown on my setup here. I use uh, Rick Morris rod. It's a S72M. Great tip, great rod for a shaky head, for uh, Cinco style fishing, wacky worming, strong backbone. And when people ask me about these rods, you know, there are a lot of great rods out there, but the difference that I found, the rods that I've used in the past, and we have to wait for this boat to go by. Actually, he's going to back it up, so it'll take a little while. But the, the difference between these rods and other rods I've used in the past is these are sensitive. They're light, very lightweight. But the difference is once you get the fish on, you can feel a big difference. And I, I guess the best way to describe it is it makes you feel like you're more in charge. You control the fish better because of the action of the rod. Everybody's coming around today. So anyway, so that's my setup. I use the VMC Nico rig hook. I use the uh, eight to ten pound fluorocarbon leader with the old FG knot. It's the FG knot and ten to twelve, ten to fifteen pound braided line, high visibility. So you can see if you use green or black, sometimes it's a little hard to see in the water. And you really want to be a line watcher. Another tip for fishing Cinco style baits is they don't all have the fall, same fall rate. You know, you want to let them do their action. When you throw it out there and you throw it in the water, you want to make sure that as soon as it hits or shortly thereafter, let it sink a little bit depending on what's underneath. Just shake your rod tip a little bit. So you're shaking the line and that gets the hook positioned so that it's coming falling like that so it's falling like this and that way it stays more weedless sometimes because of the current of the way it's going to fall it might fall like this or so roll over and catch something okay but if you give the line a shake it'll flip that hook up and you can bring it through stuff a whole lot better let it sink a little bit more shake shake let it sink a little bit more shake shake etc He was running off with it. What is the deal, Peel? What is the deal, Peel? He's right where he's supposed to be. There you go. And that's why, of course. We got a baby. We got a baby in our midst. But that's the first fish. The skunk is out of the boat. Mouth of the creek. Yeah, that's what we want.
I got these frenzy wacky o-rings and you can put them on with the, the o-ring tool and today I'm using black with blue flake so watercolor is pretty well it's kind of dark right now but now let's put an end in there like so pull it now let me show you what this does you got to put it in the middle because if it gets too off center you will sling it off you put this hook through that little circle deal and your hook is perpendicular to the bait which I think does better you don't go through as many Senkos it's fairly weedless all that good stuff I said it's a prime piece of real estate right here you got a stick up you got roots and trunks of trees that go on back Something should be sitting in there. Current's moving pretty quick through there, so you, you do have some current breaks. All right, let's get in there tight and see what happens. Ho, 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 ho. Did you see that? That was a good skip. Right where I wanted it. That should be rewarded with a fish, as some people would say. But nope. Nope, 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 nope. Different Senkos fall at a different rate. All right, let me show you guys something. The difference in fall rate between the Yum, the Yum Dinger, and the Yamamoto Senko is huge. Definitely a different fall rate. This falls super, super, super slow. So if I was to fish this in current or anything like that, I'd want to make sure I had a flick shake, something like that, to go on that worm. That's something that I've noticed. So they have different fall weight rates. So just notice that some of them have more action than others. For sure. That's something to check out. All right, let's, uh, maybe it's time to try the old froggy frog. Let's see here. Right in that little pocket. You know, even the movement on the boat. See all the ripples in the water? I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera or not, but and fish know you're here. And I have noticed that Mondays is a much tougher fishing day than Fridays. Mondays have been hammered the whole weekend. That's about the only chance I get to go is maybe a half a day Friday and a half a day Monday. I'm not gonna complain. Those fish know you're there, no doubt. So something else to consider with the wacky worm, if the fish are somewhat shallow, on heavily pressured lakes and rivers. It's a quiet presentation. It's real subtle. Sometimes it's the way to go. Dang. All right, one cast over here. And we are, I feel like I need to fish that wood. You know, it's, oh, dang it. Did you see that? That was a bite. Follow up, follow up. Let's see if he does it. That was a good sized fish too. All right, boom, ah, missed it. That's another baby. Now, I don't think that was the one that was after my frog. This here frenzy worm hook thing is, See how I did not tear up the worm? That's good. You save a lot of worms. Mm -hmm. Little baby. Here we go. Make sure it's kind of in the middle again. Then we're good to go. I'm gonna put it over there again. Sun's coming out, so let's put another one on. That is more natural, natural color. See what happens. Now this one's a little fatter, so it will stay 
on this ring a little bit better. You know, the ones that are real slimy and slick, they'll slide through that pretty good. That might be a better one. Don't get in the grass. Yeah, that's a decent one. He's a decent one. You want to show off for the camera? Ba boom It's probably about a three pounder. He didn't come up and hit that frog, did he? Come on, buddy. Give me your whoop. Give me your mouth. Probably could just swing you. Don't want a hook in my hand. Come on. Jeepers. This is about as bad as. There we go. That's about as bad as the old. We had that thing deep too. Can you see it? Can you see it? Way down there. Well, I didn't have that camera on, but that's a better one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm, he's heavy. I'm trying to. There we go. Boom. On back to the depths. There's my worm. Still intact. <laughs> that was a big splash, but a decent sized fish. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nothing like top water, is it? Nothing like it. And he wanted that. That's a Don Iovano splash it. Like a pop -ar. I got an old red hooks on this thing. There we go. All right. Boom. Man, I should have switched over this sooner. Ooh, see how they got it? Yeah. They're small, but they're fun. <laughs> 